and welcome back to Paramedic uh, Project. And thanks for joining us once again. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, blood pressures and taking a blood pressure on, uh, on a patient. Uh, so the first thing we need to know about taking blood pressure is obviously you need some, uh, some underlying knowledge about what normal blood pressures are for different ages of patients. Uh, what's normal blood pressure for a four-year-old? Uh, if you can't answer that question, then, uh, then you could argue that you shouldn't be taking that four-year-old's blood pressure. Uh, so, first thing you need to know is you need to know the different blood pressures for different ages of patients and uh, what's considered uh, within normal limits blood pressure for that patient. Uh, the second thing to, to, to think about is, uh, is manual versus, uh, I suppose, automated blood pressure monitoring. You know, so, uh, in my opinion, we should all just be taking manual blood pressures. Uh, not only is it more accurate in our environment, you know, we have patients who are moving around or we're moving around in the back of an ambulance, so we really... Um, those uh, automated blood pressures or non-invasive blood pressure monitors, they're not designed uh, to, be, to be in a moving environment and to be in a dynamic environment like the pre-hospital environment we're working. So you really need to master the art of taking a manual blood pressure. The other thing the manual blood pressure forces us to do is it forces, it forces us to touch the patient. So once again, touching the patient allows us to feel their skin temperature, how moist they are, and that's going to give us a really good indication about uh, their peripheral perfusion and their perfusion status assessment before we even get the, the numbers back on our blood pressure. Um, so it's really important to master the art of a, of a uh, manual blood pressure. And, uh, and really, like any other skill, uh, this requires practice. You know, they say learning to surf, needs a, you need, need to catch a thousand waves. Uh, learning a musical instrument, you need so many hours of practice. Well, uh, doing a manual blood pressure is no different. If you expect to take an accurate manual blood pressure uh, the first time you get to a really sick patient when you've never taken one before, um, that's, not really a, um, that's not really an accurate or a, uh, a good expectation to have. Uh, you need to practice this on every patient you go to. You need to practice it on the patients who aren't sick, uh, in the back of a moving ambulance, in a noisy environment where it's difficult to hear the blood pressure uh, when you're auscultated. You need to practice it in all these environments so that uh, when you get to the really sick patient, you can get an accurate blood pressure and, uh, and that way it's really going to guide your patient assessment uh, the patient's perfusion, uh, you're, going to know, you're going to know about the patient's perfusion and uh, then obviously it's going to guide your, uh, your treatment really accurately as well. Um, so once again, thanks for joining us on Paramedic Project and uh, we'll see you next time.